When the seven commissioners of the Natural Resources Commission meet in April, they will discuss the growth of the UP antlerless deer population. Two of the seven NRC commissioners are from the Upper Peninsula. John Matanich is from Besmer and J.R. Richardson is from Ontonagon. Both men have been closely watching the deer population. Matanich says we're likely still a couple of years away from being able to hunt antlerless deer. Well, I think there is some recovery, uh, but, but that's to be careful to say that because I don't think it's very much. Impact of all three elements, habitat, predators, and winter and how they all impact each other. Severe winters, for example, when they, when they knock the herd down, there's not enough deer left to bring the herd back up again. It takes a lot longer. The NRC determines rules and regulations for all game species in Michigan. Another big topic of discussion as far as the deer herd is concerned is the spread of chronic wasting disease, otherwise known as CWD. First thing is prevention, prevention, prevention. And what it's kind of come down to is one of the biggest things that we want to fight is bringing carcasses that are not treated properly from different states and even possibly from downstate up to the Upper Peninsula. CWD has been found in deer in the Lower Peninsula and Wisconsin. When making decisions that impact any hunting season, the NRC talks with a variety of people, ranging from DNR staff members to hunters and more. Science also plays a big role in the decision-making process. Obviously we rely on the science, as much science as we can get. And sometimes it's, and most of the time, it's the science that our own DNR staff provides to us. Along with that, we get a lot of citizens input, and we, and we very value that very much. It's very important for us to hear what folks think about proposed regulations or potential problems or whatever the case may be. The next NRC meeting takes place in Lansing on April 13th.